This is a water droplet that you're going to see. And in this water droplet, a frequency uh, is being pumped into this water droplet. As the frequency uh, is mirrored in the droplet, you'll actually see the geometric patterns in that droplet. Now what's happening, and the reason that this is so significant, is because we're going to do a frequency sweep. We're going to go from low frequencies to higher frequencies. And what you'll find is this. You'll see that in the lower frequencies, the patterns are less complex. And in the higher frequency, the patterns are more complex. So we're going through a sweep from lower to higher frequency. I'm sharing this with you now because Earth is essentially going through a frequency sweep. Our fundamental pulse, our base pulse, that has hovered around 7.8 cycles per second, now is changing. And again, there's a lot of controversy about what the change is, and we're witnessing the change. As we go through our planetary shift of this pulse, patterns of energy must change to respond to that, just as patterns of energy in this water are changing to respond to this, to this pulse. And we'll begin with simply the concentric patterns in the water as the frequency begins. Every once in a while, we'll reach a key threshold resonance, such as that moment right there. And in that key threshold resonance, the entire pattern morphed into a more complex expression of itself, simply because the frequency changed. Now watch what happens. The frequency is still increasing. Now watch what happens. As we reach a, another key threshold resonance, this entire pattern will morph into a beautifully uh, and more complex pattern of itself. Again, and again. And look at this pattern right here. Look what you're seeing right here. Look at the beautiful geometry. Here is a perfect cube. There's a perfect tetrahedron, a star tetrahedron. In two dimensions, we've got the octahedron very powerful images of sacred geometry held in place simply because we've achieved the vibratory pattern that allows that in this water droplet. And as the vibration increases, these patterns will become more and more complex. You can see the pulse from where you are. Can you see the pulse actually in, uh, in the water? As we go into this, the last set of the frequencies, what you'll see is that the entire, and you'll watch along the outer perimeter, the entire pattern reaches its greatest level of complexity, and then it goes back. Uh, as the frequencies drop, it goes back to what it was, the concentric circles, as it was originally. It almost looks alive. You know, you've been offered many times the concept that thought is vibration. Have you ever considered that emotion is vibration? Feeling is vibration. We are always feeling something. We are always emoting something. We may not always be aware of what that is. We carry those patterns with us. As we hold a feeling and an emotion, what we're doing is we are holding a vibratory pattern in the liquid crystal of our bodies. has now been scientifically shown to be provable. And what you're going to see now are what happens to particles of sand and other various particles when a sound resonates across a plate and, and resonates those particles in tune with the sound. Because when we think we're not just sending out a wave which resonates the energy, we're sending out on a frequency outside of the range of human hearing, we're sending out a sound. Everything is sound. When we think a sound goes out, it resonates the energy around us to that sound. And what you're about to see are some pictures that show this happening when sound is introduced and how sound takes random particles and turns it into astonishing form. And that's how this universe was created. In the beginning was the Word, 
the word was sound. So what you're looking at here is merely particles formed into patterns by sound. Uh, they were all over the place to start with, just in random positions on the plate. As soon as the sound appears, they form into these patterns because um, everything is sound. And it is sound that turns uh, matter and energy into form. Patterns on wings of uh, birds and insects are all the manifestation of the sound vibrations. Every organ in our body uh, resonates to a certain frequency. And when our thoughts um, and emotions and stress uh, and the vibrations that that causes de-harmonize the vibrational state of our various parts of our body, we become ill. So we think ourselves into illness because we're affecting the vibrational state of the body. And so every time you think and feel, you're resonating a frequency which is making the energy around you resonate to the same frequency. What you give out is what you create. Here you're seeing mini galaxies um, just formed by particles and sound. This is how the galaxies and the universe and the solar systems were formed and continue to be held in the structure they're in through sound. If the sound changes, the matter changes, the energy changes. So when you look at what it says in texts like even the uh, Old Testament, in the beginning was the word and the word was sound. And sound is everything. When you think and feel, you create in sound. This is how the heart beats at a certain resonance. All you're looking at here are interacting frequencies making a beat. And so um, while the frequency of the heart is uh, uh, at the right uh, level, it beats in the normal number of beats a minute. But when we become stressed, we affect that frequency and the heart beats faster. And so everything is sound, even the human heartbeat and the interacting frequencies that make it happen. And we've seen the galaxies and now here are the planets forming just on a plate from particles caused by sound passing through them. Uh, this planet has a resonant frequency. It's called the Schumann cavity resonance. But basically, while that frequency holds, the planet will hold its present form. If the frequency changes, the form will change. It's the same with everything. And here you see sound being passed through iron filings and particles and therefore creating form once again. And from these pictures, it's hardly difficult to uh, see how the human body is formed through sound resonating energy and how that physical form is held as long as that sound matrix is held. But once that changes, the physical body changes. So there you've seen, with stunning effect, how sound creates form, how galaxies are created, how planets are created. And all those uh, planets, balls of um, particles, all those revolving galaxies were merely particles turned into that form by sound.